Uh, hello friends. Today we will discuss about the qualification aspects of depyranization tunnel. My name is Palash. I have done inform in pharmaceutical medicinal chemistry and I am having experience more than 11 years in this pharmaceutical uh, world. So before going forward uh, for my main presentation, uh, I would like to request uh, you all uh, to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of my all upcoming new videos. Or you can uh, refer my blog at press.net. So let's start uh, from the fundamental. So why we required uh, a deep origination tunnel? What is the important? So we understand from the deep originations we require deep origination, but why to perform deep origination? Deep origination is a process to eliminate the endotoxin. Right. So let's understand what is endotoxin and why it is very important to eliminate from our injectable solutions. Depyrogenation of a glass wire is very important uh, in, the, in the productions of parental pharmaceuticals as residual pyrogen could ultimately be injected into a patient and which can result, you know, a, as adverse conditions and it can have a lethal effect as well. So what is endotoxin? Endotoxin is the natural heat stable lipopolysaccharide contained in the outer wall of gram negative bacteria. It is released into the environment during bacterial cell death, lysis, growth or multiplications. So friends, here we understand endotoxin is you know the lipopolysaccharide part of the gram negative bacteria which can stay to your container or to your where the product is going to ho hold so that can go into the patient body and which can have a very severe you know effect the patient can get so this tunnel is helping to eliminate that endotoxin, right? So that is the important of depyrogenation tunnel. So let's go for next slide. So this is the sketch, rough, uh, you know, just a brief sketch. I'm just trying to. Uh, show the areas of the tunnel and how it is being designed so we can see that so it has been installed in an area where this is your bottle washing machine this side your filling room whether you can see the segregation this is a separate room uh, you need better control uh, further so based on that I have shown it's, it's a different room and, and this is a moving dynamic conveyor which which can you know deliver this glass vials once it is getting deparaginated into this filling room. Okay. So uh, practically if we, if we explain this diagram we should see that this is three zone zone 1 zone 2 and zone 3. First one is called preheating zone where we can see that the bottle after washing uh, of the bottle in the vial washing machine it will be loading to the preheating zone so it will be initially drying the, the, the remaining water whatever uh, it will be there in the surface of the bottle and it will get you know preheated uh, in this zone then it will enter into the de heating zone or depyrogenation zone and where this uh, this vial or the pa intended packing material what we are willing to travel with this tunnel that will be depyrogenated and it will move towards the cooling zone and this cooling zone exactly will help we can see the steelers and cooling water connections here so it will help to you know to cool down the temperature so 
what happened here uh, we raise the temperatures around 300 and more than 300 and this cool zone the air will blow and it will get recirculated and 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 it will help uh, the container getting cool down once it will move to the filling machine so before filling machines it will have some ambient temperature right so we can see this uh, red arrows through talking about the pressure will come in detail the qualification aspects as well but we should discuss that so we can see that the preheating zone that air is going towards uh, towards uh, your washing room so so there is uh, this this high pressure area is not allowing the uh, washing area air will enter to the preheating area and we can see this cool zone so where we can see this filling room here is entering to the cool zone so it's it's partial and and, uh, and so and it is it is uh, ensuring that your filling zone is not getting uh, getting you know the air from uh, the tunnel and heating zone is a is a pressurized zone where we can see the the pressure is towards the cool zone and preheating zone so just take the brief idea what what i am trying to explain and let's uh, discuss and this is a conveyor belt we can see so this is this is help uh, to you know traveling the vial it will coming from this end to this end so this is overall sketch of tunnel just for the brief understanding i am talking about so let's un understand what are the qualification studies are required here so we talk about you know uh, conveyor we talk about this is the hepa actually the through which the air is coming so we are, we are claiming this grade is iso 5 grade a area so this is the hepa so so we talk about the pressure differentials different kind we talk about the airflow pattern so you know qualification is a very fundamental don't be grab the things from the guidelines and 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 the papers what we read we just understand what actually we need deep originate how we challenge that matters and and what are the attributes are controlling the deep origination obviously temperature so how temperature is going to uh, going to get so obviously there will be a heater blank where there will be a blower and i i told the area should to be maintained i also five so there will be a filter that should to be integral so these are the fundamental we should keep into our mind whenever we are talking about the qualifications so it's a very much logical way of discussion logical way of thinking so don't be i, I have talked number of people and they're talking about where is the guidance written where, where is the uh, things is written so don't go about the things where it is written how it is being articulated your thoughts should be processed so what is my expectations what i'm going to deliver how i'm going to deliver what are the things that are controlling that expectation and what i need to ensure or execute to ensure that that all components they are they are running and they are giving the expected results right we'll not talk too much on this slide because we have a description in uh, detailed description in upcoming slide but i just let's run through the test what you're talking about the air velocity uh, hepa filter integrity differential pressures uh, of course within the room and within the zones as well uh, airflow resolution studies um, normally recommend, recommended i know the few year back people are not doing just to demonstrate the pressure cascading it is very important so we'll come back on that uh, non viable particle count yes we are claiming iso 5 so we should we should prove that actually actually the area is getting getting uh, pass and what are the, what about the requirement of iso 5 we are getting fulfilled so tunnel tunnel belt or conveyor speed that need to be verified because you need uh, some verified speeds uh, and the measurement when whenever we are going to place vials with different diameters different configurations you know to ensure that your speed is maintained uh, empty heat distribution study it's important again uh, so how your distribution is is uniform and whether there is no any impact on that so and heat penetration and introduction challenge so it is again very important it will give you thermal data and as well as uh, uh, you know the introduction so that challenge will able to understand that how much uh, how much introduction reduction we're getting and uh, last study school zone serializations again we'll talk about that uh, in detail uh, in upcoming slides 
so uh, our first study what we talk about the uh, this is very familiar machines uh, we we have seen this machine in, in hvac system validations lots of uh, studies we have done with this uh, this is anemometer yes this is important uh, for the tunnel as well as we are talking about here the air velocity and the purpose of this test to measure the air velocity obviously as as we have a hipa and we are expecting certain velocity and here the limit is uh, as usual what we are looking for it's 90 fpm plus minus 20 uh, uh, so that that exactly we're looking for the velocity yeah so we will go next so we talk about HEPA then integrity is must and it should have been done so while you are performing we should check that the HEPA is integral that is not leak even even during installation there is no leakage uh, so uh, this is one of the very important aspect of tunnel qualifications so so what to check photo photometric uh, reading uh, in a downstream uh, HEPA filter you need cause uh, if there is any leakage and, and leakage should to be less than 0.01% uh, of the upstream challenge concentration of 100% so again uh, the pressure differential so uh, so pressure definition is very important that 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 giving identity of the every zone actually and if differential is not getting maintained then then you will not able to fulfill or your temperature distribution will be you know uh, it, it not uh, be uniform actually so even i have seen that if, 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 when i am talking about a, a differential pressure it's it's within the within the chamber and as well as the filling room if filling room pressure is excessively high you know it is started pushing the entire pressure uh, towards your washing machine so you will get you can feel your washing station is getting heated so so pressure balance is very one of the important uh, aspects here you should you should look into your design specification how uh, the operations and design specification document is talking about and based on that you should establish and you should monitor this reading so this is very important so airflow visualization this is this is up, a few upcoming requirement people are doing nowadays airflow visualization so we can see uh, the directions and that that arrows here so normally what what we what we demonstrate here the air is moving um, uh, moving towards clean room to cool zone area and preheating to washing area and if you can you can place some bottles or place uh, smoke here and you can see how smoke is getting flowed and if you if you keep in this joint and this joint you can see that the smoke is floating you know towards hot zone towards cool zone and preheating zone so it is a demonstration it's it's quite difficult for the old old tunnels it's challenge it's challenging because so nowadays the advanced channels ha tunnels have uh, those uh, provisions where you can see you will have some acrylic windows and old tunnels are pretty close it's very difficult so anyhow so this is a requirement uh, not uh, by uh, by expecting regulatory uh, guidance or, or auditors but it's, it's some of the study which can will demonstrate how your pressure balances so always you can negotiate with your risk assessment how you're going to demonstrate this one so non viable particle count uh, the purpose uh, we need we need to we need to prove the cleanliness of the area that is very important and uh, what need to check uh, we need to verify we need to address that that area fulfill uh, the criteria of iso5 or grade a requirements so again lots of lots of um, accessories are available uh, you, you can do with the long long tubing with with the cup and and this is the automation since talking about how we can uh, verify the nvpc So tunnel conveyor speed verification, I told one of the important experts where we, we will be verifying uh, the, whether your tunnel uh, conveyor speed is very precise and, and, and the motor uh, when it is getting turned. So and, and when, when you are setting the speeds, it is within the limit. So, uh, so almost the conveyor speed uh, shall not vary from 3% from the set speed. And it is very important uh, to define, you know, output of the tunnel and we can, we can design how much time it should stay in the hot zone and how much time it's taking travel from end to end so empty empty number distribution it will it will show the health of the tunnel and it's good uh, to have uh, not not frequently but you can, for for a long long frequency two years and, and after three years you can perform this heat distribution is very very uh, and, and after major breakdowns or or preventive maintenance program you can you can demonstrate that the heat distribution of uh, your tunnel is good and, and does not have any significant impact so uh, thermocouple whatever the range you will set plus minus 15 uh, degrees centigrade it's fine 
define and more can be appropriate so no problem it, it can be defined by the way we are not looking for a very precise um, range as the mention uh, as we perform in um, in auto clips so this is heat penetrations and induction challenge study it is very important actually so that the expectation uh, end is here so we need to challenge the endotoxin so uh, to ensure uh, that the heat is sufficiently penetrating to your innermost portion of the vial subjected for the sterilization and deparation to achieve desired heat penetration and endotoxin log reduction efficacy to the tunnel sterilizer so that is the need of the study actually so here we are talking about a two approach where we are talking about a heat penetration and load mapping study where all the container configuration must be evaluated initially but uh, later configuration uh, uh, shows at least if age value can can be considered as a worst case challenge of the pod qualifications uh, confirmatory study uh, for uh, the depenetration introduction study uh, to be considered uh, for the lowest FH configuration. So whatever the configuration you have chosen, and where from you get the lowest FH, so that can be that can be uh, your your uh, choice of container. So at least um, uh, least time temperature conditions and, and nominal uh, cycles required uh, to demonstrate minimum three log reduction, and this is considered a worst case challenge uh, to confirm. Uh, deep origination if he, if he guessing so uh, performance qualifications uh, uh, if the time and temperature criteria is consistently meeting the required fh uh, then then introduction challenge may be leverage uh, considering the uh, con confirmatory study come out approach to all the uh, temperature measurement in the chamber greater than 300 degree uh, and 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 minimum uh, accumulated fh located uh, to be determined for the information purpose only and the recovery of endotoxin um, uh, endotoxin after after the after the installation deposition tunnel it should to be at least three log reductions So to to summarize once again, uh, so approach one is talking about uh, map uh, all all the containers, uh, get the uh, get the containers which is very least value, uh, have the deposition challenge with that with that worst case uh, configuration, and and then uh, do qualify your your uh, configurations with low FAs, then introduction challenge is not required. So that can be approach one. And approach two is pretty simple, where we we can do uh, uh, the more than 300 degree temperature. So here the USP expectation is you know the, the the set of temperature and time which will able to achieve your three log reduction that is sufficient. So so there is lots of misconception. People is talking about two minute or three minute in three in temperature is the requirement. No, so there is no time and temperature requirement. So that is you to decide how much temperature and how much time is required to get at least three log or more than three log so at least three log is required to claim deposition so we'll go next for cooldown selection this is one of the one of the interesting one so uh, so so this feature is available from last five years this is not available in the old uh, models uh, so expectation of cool zones we know the tunnel is uh, designed to run 24 by 7 uh, so once it is not getting operated it will be run in the blower mode where your blowers are on and 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 heater blank will be off and and the air continuous air circulation will be there so to maintain the grade a conditions or iso 5 condition in your uh, in your zones so what happened whenever there, there is a, there is a maintenance program or there is a breakdown or, or you need to shut down the tunnels uh, tunnel then uh, your your uh, preheating zone is fine your your after the sterilization zone or or deposition zone cool zone is not getting ensured because the temperature is very pretty low so you can say that your in, in your uh, preheating zone the temperature will be more than 120 150 is fine so the that, that is getting heat sanitized and uh, and hot zone is getting almost 300 degree temperature but the cool zone is temperature is pretty low so they, we cannot ensure uh, the, the sterility and and, and the, the cleanability of that area so so this studies came out in in last last few years called 
cool zone stellation so here couple of uh, temperature combinations suppose 170 for one day one hours uh, to be observed and and there is lots of combination like 164 120 minute 150 for 150 minute lots of combinations people are trying based based on the the process uh, design and developed the intent is is uh, that uh, we need to demonstrate uh, six log reduction by using uh, bi indicator uh, like uh, bacillus stereo uh, bacillus atropus so uh, is expected as g bacillus stereo is not the bi of choice for the dry heat so we need to demonstrate uh, the six log reduction so that is the expectation of the cool zone so I have an article on the cool zone. I will I will give that link uh, to to YouTube description so people can go in detail. So that's all about uh, deep ignition tunnel qualification aspects. Do you have any questions? Uh, so please uh, please feel free to reach me or post it in, into the comment of YouTube. Uh, or LinkedIn where where are you are you are following me uh, that's fine so I can get back to you in the uh, next version as well thank you very much